Hi, John from the Spirited Gourmet here, and I'm here to tell you about the wines that we're featuring for this coming week. So the first lineup that we're showing is all wines from the country of Georgia. Uh, Georgia is a country of Eastern Europe, right under the Caucasus mountain range, uh, and it is home to the uh, historical origin of winemaking on planet Earth. Uh, they trace it back about 8,000 years uh, to the region that is now known as Georgia. So let's get started talking about what we've got this week. Uh, first, from Georgian Valleys, we have a wine called Ricazzatelli. Uh, Ricazzatelli is the name of the wine as well as the grape varietal. Uh, it's very crisp and bright, has some sort of shades of really dry Riesling here. Think like, um, uh, like peach and green apple, good acidity, it's light, it's fresh, really delicious. Next, from Shubini. This is a blend of Ricazzatelli and another native grape called Shinuri. Uh, and this is an amber wine. So, amber wine is produced in a vessel that looks like this, except much, much larger. All of the fruit is put in, uh, it's crushed inside the vessel, and it is allowed to ferment with the skin, stem, seeds, everything in place. Um, they come back, take the lid off, they draw the wine out, and they bottle the wine, and it takes on a very sort of amber or orange color. Uh, this is a, a really beautiful expression with loads of like stone fruits, orange blossom, uh, and even a little hint of pineapple wonderfully textured. These are super, super cool wines. Sort of the birthplace of orange wines, if you will. Uh, next, from Didi Buli, this is Shashino. Uh, this is a blend of Saparavi, uh, red grape, and a little bit of Ricazzatelli. And this is meant to be just sort of like Georgian party wine. It is fruit forward, it's juicy, it's kind of light, it's very aromatic, it's silky, not a lot of tannins here, so it's really, really smooth and easy to drink. Uh, loads of like like dark berry fruits. Really, really pretty. Next, we have from Georgian Valleys once again. This is their 100% Saparavi. Uh, this is produced entirely in stainless steel, so you get a little bit more sort of pure expression of the grape varietal. Think uh, strawberries and black raspberries. This has a little bit of a lifted acidity. It's kind of some juicy. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like good Zinfandel that's not heavy and not cloying and jammy. Uh, and last, from Chubini once again, we have their Sabarabi wine that is also produced in the Kivri. Uh, so a couple of months in the Kivri, that is the clay vessel buried in the ground, one of these, and then uh, drawn out and then aged for just a little bit longer in stainless steel before bottling. Um, think like earthy and fresh somehow. There's cherry, black currants, notes of spice, even like a little green peppercorn, but really, really delicious. It's a little bit bigger and fuller. Uh, it is a marvelous wine. Uh, I hope you get a chance to try these. Uh, these are some really, really cool wines. Uh, they're all pretty well priced as well. Um, and uh, they're super interesting. I hope you have a chance to try them. Uh, that's it. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.